All right, this weekend is a UFC fight night. The first fight I want to start with is Randy Brown versus Wellington Terman in the middleweight division. Randy Brown has a career record of 16 and 5. In his last three fights, he beat Kalen Williams by a split decision. Then he beat Francisco Trivaldo by unanimous decision. And in his last fight, Jack Dillon Molina by first round submission. Well, Wellington Terman has a career record of 18 and 6. In his last three fights, he beat Sam Alvey. By split decision, then he beat Misha Kucherov by second round submission. And in his last fight, he lost to Andre Porowski by unanimous decision. Now, I think this will be a close fight, but I'm going to pick Wellington and Terman by decision. The next fight will be Neil Magny versus Philip Rowe in a welterweight fight. Neil Magny has a career record of 27-10. and 10. And he is currently the 11th ranked fighter. In his last three fights, he lost to Shavkat Rachmanov by second round submission. Then he beat Daniel Rodriguez by third round submission. And in his last fight, he lost to Gilbert Burns by first round submission. So he has lost to some pretty big killers in the welterweight division in his last couple fights. Well, Phil Perot has a career record of 10-3. and three. In his last three fights, he beat Orion Kosk by second round TKO. Then he beat Jason Witt by second round TKO. And in his last fight, he beat Nico Price by third round TKO. And I think Phil Perot is surging recently. So I am going to pick him to win by second round TKO slash KO. The next fight is Brandon Allen versus Bruno Silva in middleweight. So Brandon Allen has a career record of 21 and 5. And he is currently the 13th ranked middleweight. In his last three fights, he beat Jacob Malkoon by unanimous decision. He beat Kristalov Jotko by first round submission. And in his last fight, he beat Andre Munoz by third round submission. Well, Bruno Silva has a career record of 23 and 8. In his last three fights, he lost to Alex Pereira by unanimous decision. He lost to Gerald Mearshart by third round submission. Then in his last fight, he beat Brad Tavares by first round TKO. Now I think Brandon Allen will win this fight by decision. The next fight will be David Onama versus Gabriel Santos. Onama has a career record of 10 and 2. In his last three fights, he beat Gabriel Bentez by first round knockout. He beat Garrett Armfield by second round technical submission. And in his last fight, he lost to Nate Landwar by majority decision. Well, Gabriel Santos has a career record of 10-1. and one. And in his last fight, he lost to Lerone Murphy in his UFC debut. This is a close fight, but I think I'm going to do David Onama by second round uh, submission. The next fight will be Austin Lane versus Justin Toffa at heavyweight. Austin Lane has a career record of 12-3, and, and he will be making his UFC debut. Well, Justin Toffa has a career record of 6-3. and three. In his last three fights, he lost to Jared Vanderra by unanimous decision. Then he beat Harry Hunsucker by first round knockout. Then in his last fight, he beat Parker Porter by first round knockout. Now, I think this is another fight that will be very close, explosive, but also very short. I think Justin Toffa will win this by first round knockout. The next fight is going to be Amanda Rebos versus Macy Barber at women's flyweight. 
Amanda Rebos has a career record of 11-3, and, and she is currently ranked 9th in the UFC. In her last three fights, she beat Verna Durandaroma by unanimous decision. Then she lost to Kayton Sharkeesian by split decision. And in her last fight, she beat Vivian Arujo by unanimous decision. As for Macy Barber, she has a career record of 12-2. and two, And she is currently the 11th ranked fighter. In her last three fights, she beat Montana De La Rosa by unanimous decision. She beat Jessica I by unanimous decision. And in her last fight, she beat Andrea Lee by split decision. So I'm going to choose Macy Barber in this fight by decision. And now we are on to the main event, which will be Josh Emmett versus Ilya Taporier in a featherweight contender match. Now Josh Emmett currently has a career record of 18-3 and and he is a 5th ranked fighter in the UFC featherweight division. In his last 3 fights he beat Dan Ige by unanimous decision. Then he beat Calvin Cater by a very controversial split decision. Which I, along with many people, thought Emmett clearly lost. But that win for Emmett was good enough to get him a interim title shot against Yair Rodriguez in his last fight, which he lost by second round submission. Well, Ilya Tapore is one of the next rising stars in the featherweight division, which actually has a couple of those rising stars right now. He is currently undefeated at 13-0, and is ranked 9th. In his last three fights, he beat Ryan Hall by first round knockout. Then he went up to light heavyweight and beat Jay Herbert by second round knockout. And in his last fight, he got a very impressive win over undefeated Bryce Mitchell by second round submission. Now, I think Josh Emmett has... A little overrated power as he does have insane one punch power but whenever Josh Emmett throws a overhand right he very easily telegraphs his shots and at the higher levels of featherweight he doesn't land these shots at a high rate and I think to Poirier Kind of has underrated jujitsu, as since entering the UFC, he has shown great striking and finishing ability through, like his punches and striking ability. As every finish before the UFC, besides one, was through jujitsu submissions. And I think Tapore may surprise people in this fight with his high-level jiu-jitsu and finish this fight in the first round with a submission. But that's just my thought on this card. Let me know what you think.